Hello and welcome to InVision System Manager 7.4 release. In this presentation, we want to share with you the most important new features and enhancements that have been included in the new software package. First, now System Manager Server is compatible with newer Windows and MS SQL environments. Second, we have added the ability to trigger with one click an SNMP synchronization and device discovery cycles together. Third, we have added support for PoE information. Fourth, we have added support for cable bundle ID documentation. The release includes other enhancements which will not be covered in this video but can be found in the release notes document. Let's start by talking about the System Manager 7.4 compatibility. We here see a list of all the environments supported by previous versions. And we have added to this list Windows Server 2016 and MS SQL Server 2014 and 2016. On the SNMP side, we have added a menu item both in the right-click menu and in the toolbar menu that allows a user to trigger with one click a synchronization and a full device discovery cycle on a given switch. This provides a more consistent view of the switch port status as well as the devices connected to the switch ports. Next, let's talk about PoE. Why is PoE so important? Well, the idea of sending power together with information or data over the same media is not new and has been used for decades, starting with old phone systems, ISDN, USB, Firewire, all these are examples of technologies that use the same concept, one cable to transport power to the end device and send and receive information. Power over Ethernet started before 2003 in the form of vendor proprietary implementations. In 2003, the first IEEE standard was published and set the maximum power at the power source equipment port in 15.4 watts. This was enough to power up IP phones, IP cameras, and some other devices available at that time. But the need for more power continued. In 2009, the IEEE published the standard 802.3 AT, which increased the power to about 30 watts at the power sourcing equipment. And in 2018, another standard will most likely be published, which further raises the power to about 100 watts. So non-POE switches, pre-standard, 802.3 AF, AT and BT compliant switches may all coexist in a network, and the need to document these similar yet different capabilities is critical. This is where InVision can help by showing in a very easy and intuitive way the connectivity and the switch status and capabilities together, allowing for a better planning and more efficient utilization of network resources as a whole. Starting with this release, System Manager collects POE information from supported switches during SNMP synchronization and status polling cycles and makes this information available in multiple windows in the web user interface. No additional configuration is needed. Here we see the new icon, which indicates the PoE capability and status of a given switch port. Green means the port is delivering PoE power, yellow means PoE is not in use, and red means it's disabled for the port. There is also a new PoE section in the properties of both managed switches and cards. It shows if the switch is a PoE switch, the highest PoE type in the switch, the number of PoE ports, and how many have PoE in use, and the power capacity, 
allocation and consumption for the entire switch or card. POE information is also available at the port level and includes the POE type of the port, the status, the allocation and consumption. Panel and faceplate views have been enhanced to show the POE icon provided that these cabling components are connected to POE enabled switch ports. This increases visibility by allowing a user to quickly assess if there is POE service available at a given location and what type. POE is also available in the properties of discovered devices. Here, System Manager can show whether a device is POE capable, if it's been powered through POE, the POE class of the device, and the power consumption. Trace is another place where POE information is available at the switch side and also the device side. The service provisioning feature now allows a user to provide service to a device or outlet and indicate not only the desired service but also the POE type needed. System Manager will look to find an available switch port with both the service and the POE type requested. And if the POE type is not available, it will try to find a port of a higher type. Last, we want to mention reports. Some custom reports have been updated to include columns with POE switch and device information. POE information is also available at the controller screen. In summary, System Manager collects and displays POE information and allows users to have better visibility over the network and cabling infrastructure as a whole, including switch POE capabilities and status, connectivity and devices, and in this way manage the capacity in a more efficient way. The last feature to mention is Cable Bundle ID documentation. Why is Cable Bundle size important now? Well, POE offers incredible potential, but also comes with its own limits and restrictions that can impact how a network is designed and deployed. As newer POE standards allow higher power levels over UTP cabling, and also as more and more POE devices start using this capability, the line loss, heat dissipation, and number of powered cables in a bundle are factors that take more relevance. TIA has determined that a bundle of 24 cables should be the maximum recommended. Comscope recommends Category 6A cable to stay ahead of POE demand. Documenting cable bundles is very easy. The first step is to create the list of labels that you will use as bundle IDs. Next, you assign the bundle IDs to each horizontal cable run in the database. System Manager keeps track of the bundles per each location and shows this in a new bundle view. This view shows all the bundles at the location, the number of cables in each bundle, the number of energized cables, the consumption and allocation per bundle, as well as the highest POE type in the bundle. You can also see a detailed view of the bundle, which shows each cable run, the panel port and the outlet connected, the device and the switch port in this circuit, and the power consumption and allocation and type. We hope you find this release of value and hope to see you soon in the next one. Thank you.